5.3, independence and the multiplication rule. Let's take a look at some key terms. Independent is when the occurrence of event E in a probability experiment does not affect the probability of event F. For example, if I draw a card from a standard deck of cards and I roll a die, does the probability of me drawing a king on the, in the cards affect the probability of rolling a five? No. Dependence is when the occurrence of an event in a probability experiment does affect the probability of event F. For example, if I draw a card, if I draw two cards, one at a time, from a standard deck of cards, does drawing a king affect the probability of drawing a heart? Or any other card for that matter? Yes, when I draw that first card, I've now changed the probability for that second card. Suppose you draw a card from a standard deck of cards and then roll a die. E is the event of drawing a heart, F is the event of rolling a five. That's independent. Suppose you roll a die. E is the event of rolling an odd number, F is the event of rolling an even number. That's dependent because once you roll the die, it's either odd or it's even, and now the probability of the other event is zero. Um, so it has affected the probability of the events. Um, and these are also disjoint or mutually exclusive. You can't roll an odd and roll an even at the same time. All right, so let's take a look at the multiplication rule. If E and F are independent events, then the probability of E and F is equal to the probability of E times the probability of F. So suppose you roll a die twice. Find the probability of rolling a one and a two. Well, the probability of rolling a one is one out of six, and the probability of rolling a two is one out of six. So the probability of rolling a one and a two is one out of 36. The probability that a randomly selected female aged six years old will survive. The probability that a randomly selected female aged 60 years old will survive the year is 99.186%. According to the National Vital Statistics Report, Volume 47, Number 28. What is the probability that four randomly selected 60-year-old females will survive the year? Well, we want to look at the probability that all four survive. Well, the probability that one will survive is 99.186% or 0.99186. So the probability that the first survives and the second survives and the third survives and the fourth survives means that we're multiplying the probability of each of those and each of those has a probability of 99.186 or point, that was percentage, or 0.99186. So when we multiply all those together, we get a 96.78% chance that all four of them will survive the year. Suppose you roll a pair of dice. What is the probability that the sum will be at least four? So that means you could have a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. So we want to know the probability that the sum is greater than or equal to four. Well, we could sit down and add up all the probabilities for four all the way up through 12, or we could look at the probability of getting a two or a three and just subtract that from one. Because remember, in probability distributions, all the probabilities have to add up to one. So remember that or problems mean you're adding. So it's one minus the probability of getting a two plus the probability of getting a three. And so then when we do the, the uh, math for that, um, we get 36 36 out of, I mean, minus 336, which is 33 36. Or if you want to simplify that to 11 twelfths, or 
you could write it as a decimal point 9167 or 91.67%. So the chance of getting a sum that's at least four is 91.67%. All right, so let's remember our probability rules. Remember that any probability, or the probability of any event, has to be between 1 and 0, or 0 and 1, sorry. The sum of all the probabilities of all the outcomes uh, must equal 1. Remember that the probability of the complement is equal to 1 minus the probability of the event. The probability of an event or another event means you're adding the probabilities of each of the events and then you're subtracting any event that or the probability when both events occur and then finally your probability of one event and another event means you're multiplying the probability of one event times the probability of the other event 